Hello and welcome back audience, my name is Massive Brad and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Liverpool career mode. Now before we jump into today's game against West Ham, I just want to say a huge big thank you for the love and support on the channel recently, you guys are still blowing it up. I want to say hello to all the new subscribers that have subscribed in the last couple of days, we are now at 85 subscribers, which is insane guys, only 15 more subscribers till we hit that target, that treble figure of 100 subscribers, which would be absolutely insane and I'm so excited and I'm so made up you guys are supporting me as well as you are so if you do enjoy today's video make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me drop your comments down below if you're new around here click that subscribe button don't forget to share this video with your friends and family and the reason I always say share the video with your friends and family guys is because you never know if your friends enjoy watching FIFA YouTubers or just YouTube in general there's a chance that they'll like my content they want to stick around they want to subscribe they want to stay up to date with the daily uploads now unfortunately I didn't get to upload yesterday guys and I do have a reason it's not an excuse many of you that have been around with the channel for a long time will know that my dad is not very well and yesterday unfortunately he took a bit of a turn for the worst he's okay now but he had to go to hospital and stuff and I got called by my mum at around 9 o'clock and I thought oh I'm not going to be able to get a video up but at the time at 9 o'clock I wasn't thinking oh I'm not going to get a video up I was thinking that I need to make sure that my younger brother and sister are okay I need to be there to support my mum I need to make sure my dad's okay he was in the best place and in the best hands in hospital so we appreciate guys that the amount of positive comments that you leave in the comment section when I read them it just really boosts me up and I'm you know I'm battling on and obviously I'm bringing you a video today my dad's all better he's back at home it was just a bit of a shock we all got into a bit of a shock but he went to hospital and he's okay so just to give you an update on that and obviously if you guys are new to the channel you can find videos on the channel to explain exactly what's up with my dad and kind of the story that he's basically living at the moment which isn't a great one but he's doing very well and he's a very very positive man Without any further ado, guys, today we are at home against West Ham. This is actually now the fifth game we're going to be playing since the start of the BPL. Our first game was against Stoke, which we managed to only get a 0-0 draw. We then come up against Bournemouth, and we managed to get a 1-0 win. We then played Arsenal, and unfortunately got beat 1-0. Last episode, we absolutely smashed it by beating Stoke in the Capital One Cup 3-0, which was absolutely insane. I could not believe the way some of the players played. It was phenomenal. And the fact that he used some of the new players and the youngsters to kind of give them a go in the Capital One Cup, not an important game in the BPL. I've actually decided, as you can see here, I'm not changing the team. I'm going to keep Ings and Correa up front with Roberto Firmino behind them too. I've then got Henderson and Tielemans at the central midfield role, Lucas Leiva at central defensive midfield role, and then Gomez, Varane, Zuma, Klein at the back with Mignolet in goal. Now, obviously, I'm going to probably be bringing Bazaar back into the team at half-time, maybe in the second half. Obviously, I'll probably bring Coutinho on, maybe bring Benteke in. But just the way the team played and the amount of energy and the amount of positive vibes that each player had, I'm just hoping that if these players go out again, the same starting eleven, they'll have that energy, they'll want to go out there, they'll want to win, they'll want to score goals, they'll want to keep possession, they'll pass well, they'll defend well, and we can absolutely annihilate West Ham. But guys, it's West Ham, and that's the plan, we want to go out, we want to kick some butt, but West Ham, at the moment in real life, are absolutely smashing it, the likes of Dimitri Payet is an absolutely insane player, and I would have loved to see him at Liverpool, we were linked to him, I believe, not last year, maybe the year before, we were looking at buying him. I would have loved to have got hold of him because he's absolutely insane. There's also a youngster playing a striker called Lanzini. He is absolutely incredible as well. He's actually rated to be the next Aguero or the next Messi or something, which is absolutely insane. So you've seen the starting 11 there, guys. Next episode, I will be doing a squad report. A couple of you guys have said, listen, when are we getting a squad report? That will be coming next episode. So episode 13, you can see the squad report there. Obviously, we're still in the transfer window, but we've finished all our transfers now, so we're completely done. Spent all our money. I'm happy the transfers we brought in obviously the only thing that we can hope for now is a few teams come in to take some of our youngsters out on loan and then they can get a bit of experience and a bit of play time because obviously with a starting 11 like that and the bench that we've got probably none of the youngsters like Jordan Rossiter even the likes of maybe Flanagan he's going to struggle to get in the team unless Klein is injured or something like that but it's whether the youngsters like Tech Syria and people like that. It's whether they get a chance to get in the start in 11. But nevertheless, guys, we're going to jump into the game at Anfield today against West Ham. And fingers crossed we can manage to pick up the three points. Here we go, lads. I do believe this is our second home game. I think we played Bournemouth at home. And I think this is our next one, West Ham. I'm sure we played Arsenal at the Emirates. And I'm sure we played Stoke at their home ground. Pretty sure so. Oh, come on. We need to do this today, lads. Substitute Bogdan, Moreno, Sacco, Milner, Bazaar, Coutinho and Benteke. That's not a bad bench. Considering we haven't even got all the best players on there. We can put Lallana. We'll be able to put Sturridge when he comes back. But I'm really, really 
focused on this starting 11 because they were absolutely phenomenal as you guys saw. 3-0 is a pretty decent score to beat Stoke. But let's get into this first 45 minute period and fingers crossed we can manage to get a goal or two. Come on lads. Play it inside. Nice ball in for Ings. Ings into Correa. Correa's going to hold it up. Go on Correa, lay it off. Here's Firmino with his left foot. Oh, what a save. That was a bit of a weak shot for me, you know. That was probably my fault though. I went for a finesse. Maybe I should have put me laces through it. Going over the top. Yes, it is Ings. Come on, Ings, control that. Duck inside, hit it. Oh, I think that's gone out for a goal kick as well. It yeah, has. That was a brilliant tackle. Nicely. Oh, Varane. No, that's not great. Nicely done. No. Referee, that's not good, is it? No. I do not believe it. Ref or defender is down there, edge of the box. How are you letting that play on? What an absolute joke. And they celebrate with Jelovic by the looks of it. who's warming up, possibly looking to come on. I cannot believe that. I think that we were fouled then. I think Sacco got took out. Let's see this. Look at this. In fact, it's not even Sacco. I do believe it's Varane. I think that that should not be a goal. I think that was a foul. That is unbelievable, and we are 1 0 down after 32 minutes. Zerate with a huge header. Fine place to Henderson. In for Ings. In for Firmino. Come on, Firmino. He's past one. Hit that, Firmino! Oh! And Adrian with a huge save. He just grasps it off the air. Come on, Ings. And there we go. Referee is blown for half time, ladies and gentlemen. And it is 1 0. 1 0 to West Ham. I was not expecting that, but as I just did say, I feel. The Zuma was was hacked down. I do believe that should have been a free kick, but there's nothing we can do. There's no point in moaning. We just need to go ahead and get a goal in the next 20, 30 minutes. And fingers crossed we can get a point out of this game. Because at the moment, it doesn't feel like we're going to. Come on, Ings. Hold it up. Nicely done. Give it back to Hendo. Here's Henderson. Come on, Henderson. Come on, Firmino. Get past him and hit it. Yes! Roberto Firmino with his first goal in a red kit. What a beautiful goal. Tielemans to Henderson. Plays it in to Firmino. He dodges around the defenders. Puts it onto his stronger foot. His right foot. And he puts it in the top left. Well done Firmino. Happy days. 64 minutes and we have bagged ourselves a goal. And we are back on level terms, lads. Ref jog on. If that was a foul, it should have been a foul before against Zuma. We should technically be 1-0 up in my eyes. Come on, Hendo, get on that line. Antonio, I don't know. Oh, no, it's coming. Get it out. No, that's not great. That is not great at all. That is not great. <gasps> Come on, Firmino. Dance him. Dance him. Come on, Firmino. Come on, Firmino. Yes, Firmino, right foot. Oh, it's nearly another goal for Firmino. It's nearly back to second. He's weaving in and out of players here. Henson waiting for the overlap of Gomez. Come on, Gomez. Get a ball in, Gomez. Yes, Danny Ings. Oh, man. It was well, close. Let's draw. make some substitutions. 80th minute. I'm happy that we're getting one point at the moment, but I feel that we could possibly push. I'm going to take the goal scorer off for Coutinho. I'm also going to bring on... Let's get Bazaar on. Get him on for Henderson. Give him a bit of a run around. And I'd like to... Hmm, what can I do here? Let's bring the Big Ben on. Let's bring the Big Ben on for Danny Ings. Give him a bit of a rest. He's been absolutely amazing recently, Ings, and he's getting a lot of play time, so I want to give him a bit of a break. Could have done with taking Gomez off, but come on, put it over this far side again. Here's Bizarre. Up for Benteke. Fake shots. Referee! Oh, it's nearly a penalty. It's around the edge of the box for a free kick, and who have we got to take it? Yuri Tielemans. I don't think he's a bad free kick taker. He's not bad at all. We've got Coutinho as well, though. Oh, who do I go for here? Do you know what? Let, let's get Coutinho. Let's try and whip this in. Nice little ball over the wall. Come on, Coutinho. Nice over. Oh, straight into the wall. What a silly, silly mistake that was. Come on, Benteke up to Bazaar. Plays it out to Correa. Come on, Correa. Get past. Come on. Come on. Get a ball in. Oh, I don't believe that. Winston Reid of a huge slide tackle. Look how many men they've got back. This is insane. And there we go, guys. 90 minutes is up. Second period's gone. And we only manage a 1-1 draw at home to West Ham. Personally, I'm not very happy with that. I'm not happy at all. Lucas, the captain, stepped up. He was absolutely unbelievable. But to me, we should have had so much more. The first half, we were all over them. And look at the stats. Six shots, only one off target. They had two shots, one on target. And their one shot on target was the goal. Who got man of the match? Was it Firmino? It was. Roberto Firmino with a 7.5. 
he played absolutely extraordinary. He definitely deserved man of the match. But plenty of class chances in there, and I really like the fact that I can see the team coming together. The odd one out for me seems possibly Ings and Correa. Both of the strikers seemed a little bit off, and the fact all the midfield were doing most of the role and looking after the ball and playing balls here, there, and everywhere, left, right, and centre. And the top deals, I'll tell you what. Bayern Munich are in the money. 50 million for Robin, he's going to PSG. 46.5 million for Muller to Man City. Nearly 100 million for two players. Jeez, that's a lot of money. And there we go, guys. We are now on the transfer deadline day, the 31st of August, 10 hours to go. And obviously, if you guys tune in for the next episode, you will see those whole 10 hours before we get into the match. So if you are new around here, guys, I would highly recommend you click that subscribe button so you can come back and hopefully enjoy this content. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me. Drop your comments down below. If you're new around here, please do click that subscribe button. It's super duper important to me, guys, because it means you guys are enjoying my content. You love what you watch. You love what you see. And you want to watch more of it. Plus, clicking that subscribe button notifies you every time I upload. And when you go to your subscription, box you will always see my videos but guys I appreciate all the support I'm sorry I couldn't get the win today but I fully believe that probably from the highlights you've just watched we deserve to win that well and truly but nevertheless guys I have been massive Brad peace out